more than any other um, substance, gases are going to be influenced greatly really by two things, temperature and also pressure. When we're dealing with um, temperature, our definition for temperature is the measure of a hotness of a, sub of a substance. Okay, we know that already. When we're talking about gases and temperature, we don't use our degree Celsius or our degree Kelvin scale, or sorry, our degree Fahrenheit scale. What we actually use is what we call the Kelvin scale. Okay, so the Kelvin scale. And Kelvin scale is what we call absolute zero. An absolute zero is the temperature at which a gas occupies no volume. Okay? So no volume. So that's where the zero comes from. No volume, absolute zero. Okay? In order to change from um, degrees Celsius, so if I'm given a value in degrees Celsius, I have to add on 273. Okay, so that will give me 273 Kelvin. If I'm given 18 degrees Celsius, again, I'd have to add on 273 there. And that gives me 38281. No, it's not. Sorry, no. Two nine one, okay. So two nine one Kelvin. So you add on two hundred and seventy three. So what we're talking about here then is we call standard temperature two hundred and seventy three Kelvin, okay. So the reason why we use that is because we actually take the value for zero degrees Celsius, which is my freezing point of water. You will be asked to determine things at STP and I'm going to come to that in a minute. That is standard temperature and pressure. If you're told at STP your standard temperature is always 273. If you're given your question in degrees Celsius you have to add on 273 in order to calculate because we use Kelvin here instead of degrees Celsius. The next thing then that we have is pressure. And again, for our junior cert, it is the force per unit area. Okay, remember we had a formula, pressure equals force divided by area. Okay, so its unit is in pascals or newtons per meters squared. Okay, and at normal atmospheric pressure, my value is 1 by 10 to the 5 pascals. Okay, now just remember on pressure, um, I have, it depends on, on force, okay, but it's also dependent on area and this is something that you'd hear quite regularly in, you know, a soccer match. So I have a player here with the ball or hurling or whatever sport. If my player here is very close, the area is very small. So this player would be under high pressure, okay? But if this player is further away, Okay, this player now is under low pressure. Okay, so uh, area has an effect on pressure. Another example of pressure being affected would be wearing shoes. Okay, so I'll just firstly wear a runner here. If I look, there's a long or big area here touching the ground. But then if I you know, change that into wearing a stiletto. 
There's less of an area touching the ground, so because of that, I exert more pressure on the uh, area. The final thing then that I'm looking at, as I've already indicated, is that you are often um, told at STP. That is standard temperature and pressure. At STP, my temperature is 273 Kelvin. My pressure is 1 by 10 to the 5 Pascals. Okay, and we will be looking at that in a little bit more detail later on.